have a dyslexia. Um, I've had it my entire life. I think I was diagnosed with it when I was young. I was diagnosed with it when I was in third grade. It was very serious. I, I felt very stupid and dumb and wishing that I could just disappear. Really what we need is just more education on the subject of dyslexia. Dyslexia is, you know, a broad term for more of a language-based disability in reading. Uh, your eyes basically take pictures in a manner that either sets words or letters backwards or you misplace words when you read. Just the, the way they think and act is a lot different. I can write, but it's slow. So co-workers can sit there and whip out reports and I'm still working on it. So they assume that since you can't read a paragraph correctly that you are stupid or you're incapable of thinking. It's just the way that their brain was designed and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, if you saw someone who physically couldn't walk up the stairs, society wouldn't say, what's your problem? Or you need to learn to do it on your own. When they do set up the programs, they're set up by people a lot of times that don't have dyslexia. Therefore, they're set up wrong from the beginning. I've had everything from teachers telling me that my second grader isn't trying hard to teachers saying, you know, I'm not gonna help your son unless he comes and asks for help. They'll give you more time that's one of the answers in school for dyslexic people. And it cracks me up because it's just more time to stare at the book. Well, they read slower, so they meet, need more time. Well, they can't read at all. Um, my full name is Aaron Austin, and the stuff that I do with Miss Shin helps me read. When I started working, actually working with him one-on-one, -on -one, he was in fifth grade, and he was still reading at a kindergarten level. It was very... Um, he needed that one-on-one -on -one attention. Well, I think she sees a lot of herself in Aaron. That was me. And I took Aaron under my wing because no child should be left that way, ever. I like Miss Jen because she is nice to me and she understands me. Society makes you feel very isolated when you have it because you don't learn the same way as other people. I know Bill was segregated from the rest of the class and put into special ed classes. I would be sent out to a separate trailer and that's why I didn't really have the English classes and the math classes because to stick a 12-year-old kid in with highly, highly mentally handicapped people for the majority of his education when he's younger and he has no mental issues uh, affects a kid. They gave us a proficiency exam which was supposed to tell you what your goals and dreams were going to be in the future. A teacher took me in a room and I said, so how did I do on the test? And he said I could be a trash collector or I could work in the military and those were my two options in life. Uh, in fifth grade, a fifth grade teacher got frustrated with me and he held me after class, told me that I would never make it in junior high and that they were going to beat me up and that uh, I was going to learn my lesson eventually. I think 12 or 13 years old, I started breaking into a liquor cabinet and I would mark the bottles and then fill them back with water after I got drunk uh, to kill the pain, you know. They don't understand the agony of, I want something so bad, but it's just not for me. Aaron was a totally different story because he has severe dyslexia. He came home one day and he was really upset. And they said, why? And they said, because they gave him a proficiency exam and they told him he could be a trash collector or he could be in the military. He was oftentimes just passed to the next grade level um, because Oh, if it's the next teacher's problem, you know, I'm not going to deal with it right now. Now I realize that the teachers don't know how to teach against it. And so when we first started, it was every day for two hours. And most of that time was a lot of dealing with his frustrations of feeling uh, inferior in, inside and on the outside. And he said to me, 
I think I annoy my teachers by asking them so many questions. And so I just spend my whole day, my whole school day, trying to disappear. He would ask, what was the word? And she said she didn't have time to teach each kid individually. Is the goal here for him to read like you? Because that's never going to happen. Or is the goal for him to gain knowledge and learn? You know, we decided to pull Aaron out of school because <clears throat> because no mom likes to uh, see their kids be hurt and or broken. When I first met him, he didn't care because it, it hurt too much. I was dropping Aaron off at school one time and he said that the teachers were mad at him and I said, why? And he said, because when I read, I hold my book upside down and they tell me that I'm goofing off. But dad, I need to hold my book upside down so I can read. And I said, I know, son. I was worried that if Aaron continued on the path that he was on, that he was gonna hurt himself. Aaron and I have spent many times crying together. And uh, just letting him know it's gonna be okay. You know, I will never let you go, ever. I'm gonna hold your hand the whole way. And then the funny thing is, uh, is that they uh, told us they were going to put together the special program so they never lost a kid like Aaron again and that I should give them a chance. And then I believe that they discontinued Miss Chin's program six months later and got rid of her and ended the entire thing that they were going to set up for Aaron. So every kid that's lost in that school is right back at ground zero. So I just don't think it's changed. I mean, that was 35 years ago that that happened to me. And Aaron got pulled out of public school because he couldn't read on the overhead projector one year ago. I like to go snowboarding, basketball, baseball. Life isn't just about dyslexia. I mean, it doesn't go away. You just learn to work around it. I have Aaron listen to his books on tape now. Fourth grade year, he read uh, two million words, or he listened to two million words. In a year's time, he went from reading kindergarten level to fifth grade. Anybody who reads two million words and has a 98% comprehension in school tested is not stupid. My favorite book I have ever read is American Sniper. My goal is to give him the skills so that he can eventually go to higher education and then on into the workforce. And I want to be there when he graduates and just say, you did it, kiddo.